It's almost like a little heel on her boot so as it doesn't slide through a stirrup. 90-year-old Paul Bond should know because if there's one thing Mr. Bond, Mr. Paul Bond that is, knows all about is cowboys and boots. I worked in a boot shop when I was in high school and then after I got out of school went, uh, went the rodeo riding. But Paul Bond wasn't just any old bronc buster, he was a skilled trick rider. A trick rider was customarily done on one horse, so I decided to put two horses together as a Roman act and trick ride back and forth between the two horses. After 10 years on the rodeo circuit, suffering more than his share of broken bones, Paul decided to retire and go back to what he knew best, boot making. First thing a boot has got to fit the foot, so we measure the foot and build the last, the wooden form, build it up, cut it down, and we take the size that's the nearest to that person and then build up or cut down to whatever the peculiarities of the foot are. A walk into Paul's Nogala shop and even the most loyal of sneaker-clad men and high-heeled women will fall under the spell of these beautiful leather art pieces for your feet. It's kind of a way for a man to wear a little color when he wants to. Of course, ladies wear them very colorfully, too. Paul says a good pair of boots should last you about 10 years. And he also says the only thing you break in is a wild horse. Boots don't work that way. It's supposed to feel good when you first put it on. Of course, it gets a little more comfortable it goes, but it needs to be very comfortable right when you put it on. Right then you say, this is going to be all right. He also says real cowboys wear their boots different than the wannabes. Well, a lot of the real cowboys do wear their britches inside a boot. There are some advantages to it. Really, in hot weather, it's surprising. It's cooler to wear your britches in them because it just keeps the leather away from your leg. And in winter, it's warmer. To own a pair of custom-made Paul Bond boots is a special thing. And no matter who you are, everyone from Ralph Lauren to John Q. Public has to wait for Bond to make sure the boots are just right. He custom makes about 1,800 pairs a year. And he's got an amazing memory for who wears what size. Like, say, Roy Rogers. Roy wore a 7 half E. So what about the Duke, John Wayne? John was a pretty big man. He wore 11 E. And how about Joe Perry of Aerosmith? Joe Perry's size was a 9 C, what Joe wore. Paul's been making boots for nearly six decades. His craftsmanship and quality work is known the world over. So why didn't he compete with mass boot producer Tony Lama head to head? I thought several times way back about to make more money if you wanted to, but I'm not sure you would. Really, the fun of making the boots is way more important than the money is now. These days, he's slowed down some and has taken up golf, using his golf boots he custom made for himself. However, he still gets excited about his trade. I look forward every day to coming down and it's kind of a challenge, see what you work out in a pattern and how we'll finish something and learn something all the time in it. In Paul Bond's world, the boots make the man, even when he's the one making the boots. So stop by his shop in Nogales, because he's as comfortable as, well, an old pair of boots.